Hey guys, as you know, I'm just coming to another video here. Um, um, I've been away from the last video of course, and I'm just doing another one. This one I'd like to I'd like to talk about a little bit. Um, the topic I'd like to discuss, I really haven't gone great lengths with it, especially since I feel there are plenty of people who could do so more eloquently than I could. Um, I'm getting a soda here, by the way, Sprite. Uh, but anyway, that's irrelevant. Um, anyway, like I said, this whole line of topic, you know, topic and discussion, I feel like some of the other people could talk about it more eloquently than I could, but I'll do what I can. Um, and but I've brought, it, brought it some this up before in, um, in passing, of course, um, but never went too deeply into it. Um, and of course, um, one thing we'll be talking about is um, Anita Sarkeesian, basically. If you don't know who she is, um, um, she's uh, built by a feminist frequency. Um, she has a channel here on YouTube, and she's got her own think, website, too. Um, she's a no non-profit um, thing, thing or whatever, 501c3. Um, um, and she's a, an incredibly controversial figure. She, um, and I guess she, um, she goes around just, you know, um, deconstructing, like, arguments, um, of what she perceives as sexism in video games and this, that, and the other. And the thing is, though, she, um, a lot of the arguments she pulls, um, that she either takes them out of context, um, Cherry picks and just just gets flat out wrong. It's basically what I've been hearing, you know. And I've not seen a complete video of this. Well, uh, anyway, um, yeah, um, I as I said, you know, has she ever brought up any good points? I'm sure maybe. It's always something to think about, but just the way she goes about it, my understanding is just flat out wrong. You know, just. Just got, just got a lot, I just like, just misconstrues things, cherry picks, and just, you know, I'm sure you get my idea. And if you already know who she is, I, you know, I'd say more, but, you know, and the thing is, you know, like, you know, of course, a lot of people who are familiar with her, um, have come out and said, like, you know, hey, hold up, yeah, <laughs> not so fast. Let's talk about this. Um, and of course, you know, anytime people you make a video, in, in a video uh, telling her that she's wrong on certain things, she decries sexism, misogyny, harassment. You know, it's almost like it, you could potentially say she went into this, this community, video game community, knowing all too well she's going to Joke up shit, and then people, of course, I think she gets a reaction out of it, and then people, um, people come, come to her defense, and uh, she can cry misogyny and harassment, and people, you know, and it's oh, okay, we'll protect you, we'll send you to your Patreon, blah blah blah. And as I said, if you know who she is, or have an idea of who she is, yeah. Um, and of course, the thing is, too. You know, um, ever since she became famous, it's almost like she doesn't give a shit about, um, her Totes vs. Women, you know, series, because I think she's a couple years or so, you know, past her, uh, supposed deadline that, oh, I'm going to get all this stuff done by such and such time. And she's well past her deadline. She's taken longer than she actually had, that she was going to do to do stuff. Almost like she was using it as a means to an end. Like, um, you know, she didn't, she was only using it as like a, a platform to get her start. And like, I'm gonna have this, you know, I'm gonna set this up, set this up so I can get myself famous and then go on from there. And once I get what I want, I don't give a shit about it. You know? Um, yeah, sorry about that. I'm just scratching the screen. Don't worry about that.
Um, anyway. But anyway, the point of, you know, of this video is what I want to talk about is lately he's been doing she went over to the UN, like the United Nations, like 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 um I know the I do know that the United Kingdom uh, is consists of know Northern Ireland, Wales, Scotland and England. And <laughs> like I you know I'm I like to think I'm pretty I'm pretty decent you know, decent anyway with geography, forgive my possible ignorance on this, but I'm going to assume that the United Nations and the UK are maybe one of the same or similar average. Um, let's digress here for just uh, Anyway, no, I think I'm actually incorrect in my assumption, my, my assumption of the United Nations. Just, I don't know, just forgive my, uh, forgive my ignorance in this case when it comes to geography. Just, you know, I'll just put that to your own. But anyway, um, uh, she's talking with the UN. Um, from what country? I'm not sure. Um, she, uh, she and Zoe Quinn. If you don't know who Zoe Quinn is, um, if you've heard of Gamer Cage, no, uh, she was involved in getting Gamer Cage started because one of her ex-boyfriends um, um, came out with this, um, you know, uh, report thing that uh, she cheated on him with several other guys. Uh, just to get away to the, just to get her way to the top, you know, no possible pun intended. Um, and one of the guys she cheated with was a guy named Nathan Grayson. Um, and she's one of these um, harassment victims playing playing the harassment card. Um, um, let's see. um and I think that I'm pretty sure that's been verified that that was the case. And I, and I do know that uh, Monday Matt. Um, did a video talking about that, and she DMCA'd him. You know, I'm just wondering what a DMCA is. Um, I don't know if I don't know what it is. Um, it's a Digital Millennium Copyright Act. So you can you can flag it for whatever you want it to do, and you can then you get a video of it. Um, if you have an idea of what a DMCA is. Uh, need I see more? And if you don't, just I don't want you know. There's Google. I don't want to get too caught up in you know, my details. Anyway, from Zoe Quinn. Uh, as I said, Monday Matt did a video talking about uh, her sex page with these several guys, and she she in the boyfriend, and she DNC'd his video. He's it's he since then got back. Good for you, Matt. If you ever come across his video, um. But, um, she DNC'd his video, uh, probably in, in the case of, you know, why? Probably because, um, she was possibly trying to cover off her, you know, naughty things she did, I guess. Um, you know, she didn't want this get information to get now, so that, you know, she apparently had no deep problems DNCing this one person who actually bothered to talk about it. Um, excuse me. And then when she's over there with him, uh, now, excuse me, she and Nina Sarkeesian uh, are talking to the UN, United Nations. Um, and basically they want, uh, in a way, kind of call for uh, censorship in a way. Um, by that, I mean, like, at one point, uh, Nina Sarkeesian was saying, oh, I do with harassment. And then, I don't know, you know, um, whatever harassment she claims she deals with, but uh, having people uh, tell her, you're a liar, you suck, blah, blah, blah. The thing is, though, um, she's been thoroughly debunked time and time again. I think, um, uh, saying, hey, you got certain things wrong. Which, um, 
you know, and, um, you know, that you're factually inaccurate on many things, or you cherry pick, or you do this, that, and the other, and you're saying, not so bad, you're actually, instead of owning up to it, she's saying, she essentially wants, you know, um, make sure that those who criticize her, um, don't talk about it. You know, if they, they're, they're calling me out on things I got wrong. You know, tell them to stop. Basically. You know, um, I mean, the thing is, though, she, like I said, for a while she's been playing with the whole victim karma. She only blames men, uh, not, not women. You know, because that's the thing about you know, current day feminism. It's always bad guy. Based on what I've learned. Um, you know, it's always the men um, who are the villains, this you know, straight white male. You know, women and minorities, you know, especially women, um, they, they're the victims. You know, you know, we women are the best, you know. You know, so, if you're, you know, um, you know kind of. Yeah, kind of like, you know, like back in the day when, um, of course, when men are the superior gender and women are always, you know, um, you know, women are supposed to be subjugated. Now, or in the same age, women are, uh, of course, if you, um, there are a lot of things that women have that you can do with first wave feminism, but there's, um, uh, Current third wave feminism are just so insanely ass from a lot of things, you know. But they, they won't do anything. And, and you know, feminism and social justice awards have learned a lot about you know, that. They also did, they also claim they're progressive, but like, you know, they, they just, and you know, if you're familiar with, uh, Actually, the third boy feminism and the SJW movement, you know, it's just, it's so messed up from what I've been all that one. Um, you know, um, like, for example, um, uh, this is you know, one guy almost a year ago who was able to, you know, have a, in a satellite or something on a, on, a, on a meteorite, and it was a very special moment for science and all that. But no, uh, feminism uh, got offended because of what shirt he was wearing. You reduced him to tears. Reduce him to tears. You know, fuck the accomplishment he did. I don't like the shirt they're wearing. You know. Um. Yeah, but anyway, um, one could potentially call Renee Sarkeesian as one, just a number, number, yeah, another Tumblr feminist. You know, like, of course, mind you, I'm not on Tumblr, so, um, just given how infamous she is and what the she's done, um, yeah. And even more so, she's going around saying that she you know, speaks for all women. No. And what's even more sad is that, uh, Ryan, um, she did, I don't think she researches all the like, games that she's talked about, and especially if she's going to talk to cherry people misrepresent certain things. Like, like one of her videos, um, it was this, well, one, there's this one game called Hitman Absolution. I've not played it yet. But I've heard that one. Um, my understanding, uh, well, see, what happened was a uh, thing that claimed that said game, it made an solution, um, encourages you to beat up, like, virtual women. And, uh, and when that, oh, and well, she said, it was actually debunked you know, that only if you, uh, you know, um, lose points for, um, Beaten up uh, non playable characters, uh, but the uh, game penalizes you too. 
But she factually, she's in a way that's kind of factually dishonest. You understand me? Because I guess, as I said, I've not yet played that game. Mm. And when people call, and that would be a prime example of her, um, with her, um, getting something wrong, and people think, hold on a second, you're wrong. Not so fast. And he's claiming that sexism is only. The thing is, he only blames men. Men. Never mind the fact that there are women out there who criticize her. You know, they, uh, they don't. Uh, women who are against me, the Sarkeesian, and tell her, oh, you're wrong, I don't like you. They don't leave this. And it was sad too, in a way, from other things, that she got several celebrities on the phone. She got Tim Schaefer, or about. Um, if you don't know Tim Schaefer, is, um, I think he's the one who created the. Um, I, don't know. I know who he is. I think he's the game dev. Um, developer. Uh, dev means developer. Uh, if you don't know. I'm, I've heard of him. I know who he is, but just. Uh, I don't want to spend too much time thinking. <laughs> so just look him up. You know, she's got Tim Schaefer on her thumb. She's got, um. Just pin under her thumb. She's got Will Wheaton under her thumb. Yes, that Will Wheaton was the crusher of Star Trek the Next Generation. Will Wheaton. Hell, back in like, I think April or so. Yeah, she got an article in Time Magazine. It was written about her. And written by none other than Wesley Crusher himself. But apparently he. Uh, Apparently, he ranked the cool white in the whole um, anti gamer game. He thinks it's a bunch of 15 year olds determined to stay 15 forever. That's what he said in this article. And one of the things she, he said was because, well, she's getting all the shit thrown her way, and because she wanted to have a conversation with someone. The thing is, though, she blocked anybody who I mean, offered a dissenting opinion, and that's how polite you are to her. No, my understanding. You know, like, if you ever visit her channel on YouTube, um, um, you cannot comment. Very sure you can't like. And she claims she's trying to avoid, um, harassment or whatever. Just like, she's, she's more like calling out to an echo chamber. And, you know, yeah. You know, she doesn't want, really want to have a conversation. So. Um, but basically she's going to, and she and Zoe Quinn are going to the United Nations. They help us out here, help us make sure sending opinions don't happen. You know? And even, you know, so, if you're, if you're following this story, yeah, well, um, if you're not, you can, I would suggest do a, bit, a little bit of research and, um, um, and I think she is and what she's doing right now with the United Nations. Well, I'm sure there's plenty of people, plenty of people who are out there talking about this right now. Um, I know Alpha Omega Sin did a video on it recently. I can um, provide a link for you to, uh, in the description box. And if I'm not being clear enough in any, on the video in any way, shape, or form, he's one person you can probably talk to. Yeah, you can. I was just listening to Alpha Omega Sin. Was in his video, you know, and any other video you can potentially find talking about this. But Alpha Omega is one person I would suggest you listen to, if I'm not being clear enough on the issue and what I'm talking about. It's weird since I'm all over the place. And so, um, and for any women watching this video, and kind of person's video, who are critical of me as Archivian and all that, and Keep doing what you're doing. Well, of course, you know, for one thing, whatever harassment in the he's in, God has legitimately gotten to that he's And if she wants to speak her opinion, great, more power to her. But to her to act like her opinions are facts, and they're, and they're just really subjective opinions, and acting like she's like a, 
an academic when she's got flimsy arguments and all. You know, yeah, and if I'm sure if she had, if she would have owned up to some of the mistakes, I'm sure she might be a little bit of credibility. I'm sure, but you know, so just with me personally, I'm not as outraged. I haven't been as infuriated with her, but I think in a lot of ways, I think I might be able to understand why people don't like her, or at least, at the very least, are critical of her. And she's doing herself no favors. And especially that every time she someone criticizes or disagrees with her, even if they're polite towards her, she decries sexism, harassment, uh, misogyny, you know, just, you know, um, so as I said, I'm going to link the video to you know, after all magazine this um, video to the channel, and I think Jordan Owen, Jordan Owen 42 here on YouTube, but he's, his name is Jordan Owen, they just add 42 from the next to his name on his YouTube channel, and go check him out, by the way. I think Jordan Owen might be doing a video as well. Um, when he uploads that video, whenever uh, he, yeah, he I don't know when he's going to be doing it, but whenever he does upload it, I might uh, throw his video in the description box too. You know, my description box. So, and he's talked a lot about these right here too, amongst other things. Um, but yeah, um, just do some research, I would say. Something she bit right out of jail. Um, just, just, yeah. So I guess just if you're familiar with the name Sarkeesian, Sarkeesian, uh, look her up and um, and understand what she's all, who, who she is all what she's all about, and especially with what's going on with her in the United Nations right now. And yeah, just yeah. And I went to the Alpha Magazine video. So I guess with all that said, um, and I hope you get this. And of course, women, I, one more thing. I, I like I said for women, uh, for the New York TV in the clan, she speaks for all women. No, she doesn't. I can tell you she doesn't speak for all gamers. She doesn't speak for me. I speak for myself. I'm a gamer. Um, I always have to consider myself one. I always have been. Um, but yeah, um, for women, keep doing what you do. You know, you know, speak for yourselves. You know, you know who you are. Don't let any of these deter you from your other video games. Keep doing what you're doing. You know, what you are doing, women out there who are actually legitimate gamers, you actually know their shit. Keep going. You know. Don't let someone like Nia Sarkeesian bring you down. And of course, I guess if Nia Sarkeesian doesn't deserve any harassment, and, you know, but just at the same time, yeah. So if you are going to try and criticize and debunk your gut, at least don't go in the harass or anything. I don't know, but I'm sure most people. Uh, I don't know. Just, yeah, but like I said, just women, women gamers out there, keep. Doing what you're doing. Don't want to answer these things really bad. So, I guess with all that said, just rate, comment, subscribe, and that's it, I guess. And, um, and just, and, uh, just hopefully you can, uh, hopefully this thing doesn't actually go through and make sure critics of her, uh, Non harassment correct correct I don't actually like guys like Jordan Nolan, Monday Matt, Thunderfoot. Uh, don't get silenced because they criticize and disagree with her. You know, it's just so yeah. Uh, so just all that said, just rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. And if I'm not being, and also one more thing, <laughs> I know I keep talking. Um, if I'm not being, if I'm not being as descriptive 
Doing small things. I would, as other people would be, I do apologize for that. I'm just saying what I know and what I think, and just I'm just doing what I can. So, all that said, I'll just rate and subscribe. See you next time.